Good morning. It's time for blog post number two. I wanted to let you folks know that uh, I appreciate your critiques and uh, I'm coming to you from a new location. So Mary, hopefully your daughter won't find this quite as boring as the one that was yesterday. Won't be quite as long either. I've already learned one valuable lesson about blogging this morning. Always check the batteries in the camera because I've already gone through my spiel once today and then looked up and figured out, hey, there's usually a red light that's on and that wasn't on so um, hopefully this will be better than that first dry run. I'm going to try not to touch my nose, try to make better eye contact and uh, we'll work on it. Um, but I do appreciate everybody giving me critiques because I do want this to be something that uh, people can enjoy and actually get something out of. Obviously as I said yesterday I want to grow my business because that's good for the people that I work with and so um, if this is a means to do that then I'm all for it. I do want to address one thing that, that kind of gave me the idea for this morning because I did have somebody email me, not on Facebook, uh, and basically say, aren't you afraid that people are going to copycat you? Um, number one, that's a great uh, piece of flattery, you know, that, that somebody would look at what you're doing and think, hey, I want to do that too. Um, in all honesty, I do that to lots of other agents. In fact, I pay a pretty hefty monthly fee to be coached by people outside of this marketplace that are doing things that are successful. So I'm not really worried about people stealing my stuff. It's kind of like uh, uh, I can't market in a vacuum, and so if somebody sees something I'm doing right now and says, oh, hey, I want to copy that, um, well, you know, good for me, good for them, hopefully good for their clients as well because it must be something that they think is, is effective. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, the one thing that, that we all have that's a little bit different is we have a different want to and we have a different work ethic. And I'm not going to tell you that I can just sit here and guarantee that I am the hardest working realtor in town, but I will tell you that if you can find somebody that, that you can see working harder than I am, uh, that might be the person you want to list with or, or have uh, work to help you find your next home because I think that that's one of the things that's kept me around for 19 years uh, is the effort that I put in. Uh, we're going to be short this morning. I do want to thank you for looking at the video yesterday. Hopefully you'll do this today and if you can do me one favor, please share this with people. You know, when you see this on Facebook, click the like button. Follow me on Twitter. You can find me at Realtor Tate. Uh, because if you do that, that drives up my search engine placement. When you drive up my search engine placement, you help my clients get their homes exposed. And some of my clients are your friends, so you will help them in their marketing efforts to get their property sold if you'll uh, follow me on Twitter and, and like me on Facebook. Uh, until next time, um, oh, and by the way, send me questions, send me things that you want me to talk about. I'm going to certainly talk about a lot of my pet peeves and ways to improve in this particular marketplace, but just like the get a new location and quit touching your nose, uh, I'm going to listen to you. Thanks again for tuning in. See you next time.